Gonna do some leg sparring, just a quick review. Um, Jonah, a couple things to think about when we're sparring our leg. Okay, on top, leg in. Make sure we're focused on breakdown first. Okay, stay away from up here. Right, here, ankle, driving him down. Let's work on keeping our knee out. Okay, not letting him roll our knee under. So keeping our knee out. Do your figure four um, on the back side. Let's keep focusing on wrist, power half. Okay, keep getting better at that one. Working on our Turks, um, whatever other turns you want. But really focus on knee out. Okay, controlling this position when we're on top in this spar. Okay, on the other side, bottom guy. Let's keep working on attacking his hip to the mat. Okay, here. Put him in danger, right? Actually, going away from him, right? Putting him in danger, putting him on his hip. Trying not to attack his feet with our hands, trying to use our feet. Leg fight, okay? Working on leg fighting instead of reaching down and grabbing his ankles with our hands. Um, if he gets us flat, okay? Attacking that hip, rolling his knee under. Okay, then leg fighting, right? The other thing we can do is attack that top hand, okay? Top hand, if we can keep that top hand out, elbow in tight, that makes a huge difference too. One thing I was thinking about, when he's halfing us from here, right, he's hitting that power half on the top side, okay? I like to bring this down and attack here, okay? Right? And the worst thing we can do is this, okay? That gets our elbow in so much trouble, okay? So if I'm getting a power half, right, I'm taking his hands to my other hand, right here, okay? So just a few things and then get that outside out, okay? So bottom, getting him onto his hip, okay? Leg fighting, trying not to reach down and grab his ankle. Control this top side position, right? So just some keys to think about sparring in our leg from top and bottom, okay? Go about five to seven minutes here, leg spar. Top guy leg in, spar from there. One, two. Yeah, I no, I like to go opposite side. That way you're controlling his hip and controlling his top side, you know? That way he can't roll through. Okay. Yep. I Take, don't go super hard on this arm. But what? <laughs> nope. Yeah, grab his wrist. That's gonna keep him from getting getting in danger here. Yep. And then once keep this coming go. out here. Yeah. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna go to the other side. <laughs> Wrist, yep, wrist. Keep this? Yeah, I like, to, I like to just stay here. Yep, stay down on your wrist. Yep. There and you then go. I jump out. Yep. Yep. So, I'm doing it on you, right? You go down. Grab here, right? Mm -hmm. I want to keep this triangle kind of. Okay. Okay? Right? Then I'm really putting torque on your shoulder instead of letting you get there, right? So I keep this triangle, torque on your shoulder. It's a little bit harder to defend. Okay. <laughs> hey, be careful there, okay? One thing, like, once you grab that, you have a target for your wrist, right? For me, if I have a leg in, right? And you grab my ankle, right? Now I know where your wrist is, you know? So, even if, yeah, I mean like there. You know, I don't like, I don't like you necessarily grabbing those a ton, okay? Because a lot of times you'll end up pulling it in. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, stay here and yeah, I was, like, yeah. like fight there, right? Yeah. I know it's like, it's hard not to grab those legs. But for me, oh, what, doing the thing you're about. that's inside. Don't, you don't grab it, you just put your hand here inside, you know? Because then you don't have a, he can't get your wrist, right? Because you're out here, you're elevating, right? When I grab here, it brings my wrist in, okay? It's just what I'm thinking about when I'm in there. As a leg rider, I like it when they grab my legs and I can get their wrist. Then I can extend him.